Images make powerful statements. Images make emotional connections. Visual impact is regularly at the heart of both published and private communications today, and increasingly so. But contemporary pictorial content itself sits at each side of a wide gulf. Distinctive digital photography on the one side, one-of-a-kind handcrafted artwork on the other. Hi, I'm John Stevenson, Business Development Director for Zycod, the home of Post Workshop software. What is Post Workshop? It's a new platform for bridging that divide between digital photographic captures and conventional artistic imagery. It is a new workshop, in fact, for unique image transformations. What you've been able to see so far in this video are examples of outputs from Post Workshop. These were all produced using some of the very simplest techniques that the program contains. All are derived from photographic inputs. Want to see how straightforward it is now to produce high quality images like these? Intrigued by the artistic core of our software? That's what I'm going on to cover next in the remainder of this presentation. All of the demonstrations in this video, there are three in all, are going to be completed using Post Workshop's plugin mode of operation. So we are starting out with Adobe Photoshop open and are selecting this image to open and work on via the standard Photoshop keyboard shortcut. It is a compositionally simple photograph. A paintable subject, whether you are a conventional wet media painter, or an aspiring digital artist, or indeed both. So we proceed, also via a shortcut, to open Post Workshop from Adobe's filter menu, just as with any standard third-party plugin. I'll be taking just a few seconds now to introduce the standard plugin workspace as it appears here. The Compositing tab is active by default, and you can see the source image object directly. In the center of the screen is a tab where all of the individual filtering styles can be accessed. There are over 400 in total, in a set of five categories, plus folders for your own work. And out on the right-hand side is the Properties plus Preview tab. With the source image present alone right now, it features basic information on our photographic input and some options for direct editing of that source via a range of pre-processing options. Finally, back over on the left is the image scale indicator. It shows that what is seen and will be worked on in this case is a 54% reduced size substitute or proxy of the actual input image. This is an operational means which Post Workshop uses by default to accelerate the processing of input images on an initial preview basis, but it can be overridden as a user preference. Now moving along, we're going to filter this image using just a couple of styles from the painting category. Note that there are six subcategories that these are available from. My initial selection is from the techniques group with the title Watercolor 6. It takes just a single click to convert this listing into something which may be pictorially more helpful and then to scroll down to that same style in the revised layout. Finally then, we are just a drag and drop away from filtering the input image for the first time, and so creating a style layer. It's just that simple. The Watercolor 6 style actually has a range of adjustable settings, now accessible in the Properties Plus Preview tab. There's no limitation at all to the use of any one single style. All can be used in an endless variety of combinations. There are four Stations of the Cross which are available for adding any style to any one which is already in place. Basically the addition can be above or below or before in sequence or after in the reverse sequence. Here I'm adding a second style from the Impressionist subcategory so as to gain a stronger coloration of the initial effect. Just remember, there are over 400 pre-built style filters you can use in this way, and an endless number that you can construct for yourself using the Building Blocks category, sitting right in the upper center there on the screen. So here we now have one style directly working on the output of another, in a serial combination.
and this is the reverse configuration, adding the new style after one that's already been applied. And once any style layer is created, above or below the original one, there is the possibility of using a complete range of the more or less industry standardized blending modes to combine and or merge it with what has already been processed in the pre-existing layer or layers. If this looked at the end a lot like working in an imaging application that you are already familiar with, well we make no apologies for that. Our own expectation of your success with Post Workshop lies in the variety, quality, the flexibility, and fidelity of our filters, which we call styles. Now just to recap that workflow and result, this is the original starting photograph in Photoshop, the same image open within the Post Workshop plugin, establishing the first style, one with some adjustable parameters, adding now a second style, this being a fixed filter, selecting a blend mode and a blending opacity, and the final output render transferred back to Photoshop. As a second example now, I'm going to work with a couple of the graphic arts category styles and expand upon the level of fine control which is intrinsic to Post Workshop. This is the starting image I've chosen this time, a fine looking photograph. It's previewed at 61% of full size with the plugin activated. Now there is no need at all to use styles from just a single category. Any and all can be mixed and matched. That's part and parcel of the unmatched artistic license which Post Workshop offers. And as I already noted, there's a special category, Building Blocks, which can form the basis of endless imaginative transformations, by themselves or as complements to the pre-built styles. The different component styles in the building block sets have the largest ranges of adjustability and flexibility. So just as earlier I select and drag and drop and the image is auto painted. There are some adjustable settings for the painting on pencil style. You can adjust these numerically or via the slider input bars. A second style is what's added next, coloured engraving. In the spirit of totally unconstrained digital mixed media, we have an engraving sitting on top of a pencil and wash painting. And it, like light as a feather used earlier, is a fixed filter. But after selecting a blending mode, we can adjust it easily nevertheless. Going to the building blocks category for real this time, we enter the colour tools subcategory. Here there is a Corrections and Enhancements Toolkit, many items of which you will recognize from prior use of any standard image editor. And all of these can be used either before or after any of the pre-built styles. So in this case I opt to use Brightness Contrast as a demonstrated post-correction on the colored engraving layer, using next the Properties plus Preview tab to make my adjustments. Easy. This is also not limited to just one single correction. Any number of these can be connected in a sequence. Finally now we return this more evocative and dusky image into Photoshop by just that one further click. In repetition as step-by-step -step guidelines, the input image now open in the Post Workshop plugin, establishing a graphic arts category style, one with some adjustable parameters, adding a second style, this again being a fixed filter, selecting a blend mode and a blending opacity, a new feature, 
making a post correction via color tools, and our final output render when transferred back into Photoshop. Finally in this video I'm going to move more quickly through a drawing category exercise. This uses a formal portrait image as a photographic source. There are very few traditional photo editor programs with filters which are up to the task of working sensitively with subjects of this class and type. As few, we at Zycod think, as just one. I'll start with two styles taken from the same subcategory. And I'll skip giving a complete commentary from here on. There is another recap section which follows at the end here. There is, however, the use of a blend mode which might not find application in regular photography. This is a step that can be encouraged in post-workshop though. Plus an innovative use of the invert style to bring texture and structure back into the highlight regions of this portrait. What I want to conclude with here are the facts. That you will soon have seen six different styles from the post-workshop library in all. In actual use, within a Photoshop plugin, and you will have soon watched the creation of four more custom effects that I assembled as demonstrations for three different subject types, with simulated painting, drawing, and graphic art outputs, and with unparalleled quality and fidelity, all in the span of just about 12 minutes. That's what I meant in the introduction here by the statement that Post Workshop is a fully contemporary program spanning that gulf between digital photographic and conventional artistic imagery, a workshop or a studio, in fact, for unique image transformations. What will be covered in the next video in this series are the key aspects of assembling and fine-tuning your own personal styles from the building blocks category exclusively, and also utilizing Post Workshop as a standalone application. It will also cover the what, why and how of saving your work. So then, back into recap mode now, as step-by-step -step guidelines, as a workflow which you can duplicate easily. The input portrait photograph. The first style, rough charcoal sketch. Adding a second style, charcoal and chalk. Selecting a blend mode and a blending opacity. An additional finishing style now, classic drawing, into the hard light blend mode. A pre-correction inversion of the intermediate style layer for introducing texture back into the highlighted areas of the image. And a fourth style. It's often good to put the topmost definition layer into the soft light blend mode and the final output render transferred back into Photoshop. I hope that you've enjoyed this presentation and found it useful, maybe even intriguing. There is a comprehensive collection of tutorial material available to you from our website. Thanks for watching.